-hmm. Okay. Um, so do you guys know where um, soccer originated from? Um, according to an article called Who Invented Football by Football Bible, it is said soccer started in, it, didn't, it doesn't have like a, like an origin. It just, uh, there's different places where there was soccer-like games. Um, so the first one is Egypt. They, uh, they would use bright colored clothing and kick it around during their celebrations. Oh, it's the next slide, yeah. Um, second is um, Rome. They had no rules or tactics. They play a, a game with 54 players. It was 27 versus 27. Um, it would get very violent and people would get injured because there was no rules or, or tactics. Um, in China, uh, there's a, spo a sport called Kuju. It, was, it meant uh, play ball with, with a foot. They would stuff uh, feathers inside leather balls and they had to shoot the ball between a cloth hanging between two poles. That's it. The next. Um, so I'm going to show you how to juggle first and then I'm going to show you how to properly pass the ball and, and lock your ankle. And finally I'll show you different formations that they use in a game. Um, no, it's just, uh, yeah. So first how to juggle, uh, you, f you first want to bend your knees a little and kind of like warm up first your arms, just relax your arms. And you want to, first off, you don't know how to play soccer, it's just you want to just uh, let the ball bounce. And as soon as it bounces out, up, I mean, you want to just kick it up and catch it with your hands. Uh, you first want to uh, just feel the ball first, just kick it hard, and it doesn't matter if it just flies out. Just uh, keep trying. Um, so after you uh, practice with <coughs> one leg, just uh, move on to two touches. So you want to one, two, and just keep practicing until um, you get control of the ball. So it doesn't matter how, how much you do, it doesn't matter the quantity. It's more uh, the quality and the control you have on the ball. And then locking your ankle, um, you want to flex your your calf and have uh, your leg immobile and this one is uh, you just hold your the ball between your hands and you just want to flex your uh, your calf and you want to keep it mobile and you want to just kick it like this and then catch it with hands and you want it uh, you want the ball not to have a lot of spin and that that um, when you want to kick the ball uh, like to the net or something you want it to not have spin, and that would make it uh, more accurate and have more power. Also, uh, when you shoot it, make sure your other leg is right next to the ball, right uh, parallel to the ball, and that makes it have more power and accuracy. And how to properly pass, um, people, uh, people usually uh, use the tip of the foot, and that, that can hurt sometimes. Um, that also shows that shows to me like you don't you don't know how to properly make a pass. Um, you wanna um, just lock your ankle too when you make a pass. Just point your um, toes up and just uh, put your foot next to the ball and just uh, kick it uh, ins with the inside of the foot. Um, yeah. And there's uh, different formations that you use in the game. Um, the the classic one is uh, four four two. Is is with the the goalie doesn't change, so it doesn't count. So they ch we just uh, say four four two with uh, four defenders, four midfielders, and two strikers. The um, the formations change based on the opponent. And I thought this was interesting because um, in soccer, when you watch a game, you don't usually um, see this. Uh, if you just like watch it, you, you just see people can, kicking around the ball and it's just basic and then it's, it's kind of interesting watching, uh, if you watch a game, you, if you want to see, th um, you see this thing and then it's just like, oh wow, it's, it's more, uh, m more of a, uh, at a different point of view. So this uh, formation can change between uh, five defenders, uh, three midfielders and one striker. 
or a diff that would be more of a def defensive kind of move. Um, uh, it's interesting also um, how different uh, countries they use uh, different styles of play. Um, for example, Brazil they use of uh, more of an offensive kind of play um, style of play. They use uh, four 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 three for example. They use uh, another striker on the in the top. Um, to assist their forwards. Um, I hope uh, you found this interesting. I've, I usually um, watch games and I usually see these uh, kinds of plays. If you, uh, if you don't know soccer, you wouldn't be able to uh, see these um, different formations unless you really uh, pay attention. So I hope uh, when you watch a game, you see these kinds of formations and, and just think how, how uh, each um, each country plays, and also uh, when uh, when you see a ball rolling towards you, you know how to pass and and how to shoot. Thank yeah, you. Thank you.